by Josh Dossie, Sean Sullivan, and Ed O'Keefe Washington Post. Washington President Donald Trump has told Confidence that a government shutdown could be good for him politically and is focusing on his hardline immigration stance as a way to win back supporters unhappy with his outreach to Democrats this fall, according to people who have spoken with him recently. Over the past 10 days, the president has also told advisors that it is important that he is seen as tough on immigration and getting money for a wall along the U.S.-Mexico border, according to two people who have spoken with him. He has asked friends about how a shutdown would affect him politically and has told several people he would put the blame on Democrats. Trump's mixed messages on a partial government shutdown could hamper the ability of congressional Republicans to negotiate with Democrats, whose support they need to pass spending legislation in coming weeks. Many Republicans said this week that a shutdown is a possibility they hope to avoid. Even inside the White House, aides fret about the possibility, saying it would not pull well. White House Legislative Affairs Director Mark Short and other aides said the president did not want a shutdown. He's not advocating for a shutdown in any way. We want to make sure our military is funded, we want to make sure our priorities are funded. That's why we invited Democrats over to have a conversation about a deal, Short told reporters at the U.S. Capitol late Thursday. When you run for office and you get elected and you are given the opportunity to govern, it strikes me as a bad idea to shut the government down. That seems like an abdication of responsibility, said Sen. John Cornyn, Texas, the second-ranking Republican senator. Sen Tom Tillis, RNC, added that any business that shut down abruptly would go bankrupt. Actually, by definition they would be bankrupt. So, I think you have to avoid shutdowns at all costs. Up against a December.8 spending deadline, House Republican leaders on Friday are expected to unveil a measure to extend current funding until December. 22, said multiple aides, who were granted anonymity to describe private deliberations. If talks on a longer-term deal to fund the government are not resolved by that time, GOP leaders are prepared to pursue another stopgap plan that would kick the talks into January, the aides said. GOP leaders know they will probably need Democrats to help pass any spending bill because of potential opposition from House conservatives and because Senate Democrats can filibuster spending legislation. House Speaker Paul Ryan, R. Wisconsin, said Thursday that Congress will pass a short term bill to keep talks going. Hopefully, people will decide to participate in these talks. Trump has waffled on the idea of a shutdown in the past. In the spring, he tweeted that he would like a good government shutdown and thought it would be useful to him. This fall, he mused to others in a White House meeting that he thought the debt ceiling, often used as a negotiating point in complex spending talks, should be ended for good and has told advisors that a shutdown could make the administration look impotent. Initially, Trump loved news media coverage of his deal this fall with Senate Minority Leader Charles Schumer, DNY, and House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi, D. California, that extended government spending and increased the debt limit for three months.